Hi, my name is Tatiana Vinci. I'm from Sicily, a part of Italy where the best food originates, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Since I came to LA, people are always asking me how to make many of my recipes. So I decided to show you some of my favorites, like my grandma taught me. Mm, Today, I'm Tatiana the Garlic Head. Let's go and cook together. Ah, by the way, don't forget to subscribe. Capito? Ciao! Hi everyone! Ciao! Welcome back to my channel. Benvenuti. Um, today we're gonna make pasta alla chitarra. It's called the chitarra, I guess, because I'm gonna make strings on, uh, on, uh, on the carrot and uh, zucchini. So all you need is uh, onion, radicchio, white wine, red is for me, white wine, white wine, and olive oil, and obviously pasta, okay? So I'm gonna start with um, cutting the onion in pieces, very thin. Um, like I always say, there is no rules in the kitchen. You can cut, well, you should cut thin. They don't wanna cut, <laughs> really. So I'm gonna gently fry the onion with, um, with olive oil. So I'm gonna slide and make strings out of it. So once I do that together with the zucchini, I have what I want. So this pasta is just very light. It's not really the kids like it, but maybe you can try it. <laughs> so that's here. So this is a string that I was talking about. <laughs> I guess they look like the strings of the guitar, I don't know. By the way, it's my favorite instrument, so <laughs> we can share it. Um, so once I have this, I'm gonna start cooking it here with a little bit of olive oil. And while that boils, really, I'm gonna prepare the pasta too. So radicchio is made, um, I'm gonna cut a little radicchio. While this cooks, I'm gonna make radicchio with white wine only, okay? And I'm gonna prepare that apart in a separate way, okay? In a separate pan. Well, while everything starts cooking, I'm gonna drink some wine. I make my food really special when I drink some wine. Sometimes I put on the food too, but not always. Hmm. So, here is a little bit fried in this. And as far as a pasta, I like to use um, orecchiette. So this little, little pasta that looks like ears, a little bit. And once this boils, I'm gonna put it I guess you know how to make pasta. <laughs> so, okay. This is cooking. That's good. So now I'm gonna fry it a little bit. Gently cook that. And I'm gonna add a little salt in there too. Just, uh, yeah. So, while this cooks, I let it cook myself. I'm gonna add a little wine on this little pan and warm it up a little bit too. This is a very special pasta when you have a special guest that you wanna make something a little different. That's the best. 
So radicchio goes in the wine separate, okay? So it will cook very, like probably three minutes, I would say. So pasta is boiling a little bit and I'm gonna start cooking the pasta. See, you have to have some skills to do three things together. It's kind of <laughs> not that difficult. So radicchio is mixed and I'm gonna make it with a little bit of mixing of this. And this one is cooking. My little friend go the little little things in the pasta. Okay. So this one is cooking itself. Really nice. Stirring sometimes. That's all you need. Sometimes it's like this is a delicious pasta that really if you wanna make something different, it's really nice. Pasta chitarra. Well, So, and this one is cooking, like you can see. It's very nice, so, away. While the radicchio cooks, I'm gonna put a little bit more wine on the radicchio, okay? Because it tastes really nice, the radicchio and wine. It gives a little bit different flavor than if I would've put it here. So, it's just different. Sometimes little tricks makes the whole meal really different, okay? So this is my way because it works. <laughs> you can modify it, but I don't suggest that. So. Pasta, buonissima. You can enjoy a glass of wine, you see? Very easy. I'm gonna add, when it's soft, you see? Can you see, it's a soft, okay. I'm gonna add the radicchio in it. Then I'll mix and cook gently all together. Like that. This again is a very fast pasta too. So very nice and easy and it's delicious. Mmm, smells so. Whoa. I'm gonna burn my face. <laughs> so I let it cook a little bit longer. I think five minutes this pasta is pretty much done. Yep. Very good. So I'm gonna lower the flame now. stay here until the pasta is ready. Okay. I like your ricchette pasta to make it short because that sauce, you know, for me, much is better. You can make a spaghetti, obviously. You can make it any kind of pasta. I like your ricchette. But, no, that's not rules. Like I always say, there's no rules in the kitchen. Okay, now the pasta is cooked. I'm gonna pour here and I'm gonna mix it. The smell of the wine and radicchio is just amazing already. Oh my goodness. So, that's the pasta. Alla chitarra, pasta alla chitarra. Mm. Radicchio, zucchini and carote. And onion and olive oil. And white wine. <laughs> okay, 
So I'm gonna pour here. Here we are, we finished pasta la chitarra. And then you can add a little bit of cheese on top. Mmm, it smells already, it comes from me. It's like amazing. And that's it! That's pasta la chitarra. Buonissima. Al bacio. <laughs> so I'll see you on my next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao. Mmm. Buonissimo.